Hi everybody, Julie Friedman Smith here, and Gail Bell from Parenting Power. And if you've been in the stores lately, you know that everybody is trying to sell you something for back to school. It yes. It's kind of the time. Yes, it's everywhere, mm -hmm. every store, whether it's clothes or supplies or everything. 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 Yes. So that's really what we wanted to talk to you about today because as much as it is still summer and we're enjoying mm -hmm. the calm of summer, there's this little kind of niggling in the back. Well, our, my kids, school starts next week, but you know, over the next few weeks, kid, people are getting ready for school mm -hmm. or school is starting. And so there's this feeling of we got to get ready for school. Right. And there is lots of productive things we can do as a family to set our kids up for success. What Julie and I want to talk about today is our emotions around it and making sure uh, as parents, we're not modeling that it's a big deal. Yes. Um, because in the grand scheme of things, it's pretty normal for kids to go to school yes. every year. Every There's, year. We don't <laughs> Same want, thing happens yeah. every year. Yeah. So we have to be careful as parents um, to make sure we are not making it a big deal. Right? So even with school supplies. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that, that is really the focus because there's this pressure almost, I don't know if that's the right word, but this pressure to have new everything all the time. All the time. And it's like, well, we'll get you new binders and we'll get you the fancy markers. And it's all that external stuff of this will make your year go better versus letting kids own it and knowing... They're capable. They are capable. They're totally capable. So a new um, backpack isn't going to make their year awesome. <laughs> no. They're going to make their year Yes, it's awesome. about their their yeah. abilities and their efforts. Yeah, and if they need a new backpack because their other one is ripped and books are falling out of it, great. But if they don't, they don't. And yes. there's also the financial side of things. Yes, it, September is a very, very expensive month. Yeah, or August. Or... Well, August and September, just all those new fees mm -hmm, coming in. Mm -hmm. And one of the questions that we often get asked is about, it's not fair. You know, if Johnny needs a new backpack, oh, that's does Sarah point. also need one? No. Nope. No. If because she doesn't. Life isn't fair. Ever. Life isn't fair. And we talk at Parenting Power a lot about meeting each child's needs uniquely. Mm -hmm. So if one of them needs something, great. If the other one doesn't need it right now, hold off. Because at some point, that one's going to need it at which point you can get it. That's right. And you know, marketing, you'll see some stores will say, buy one, get one half price. And and of course, they're doing a great job marketing, mm -hmm. but don't buy into it and explain that to your kids. Well, I'm still have to spend this much more. Yes. And you don't need runners. But when you need runners, we'll, we'll make get sure them. you you get them. And okay. you just brought up something really helpful, which is talking with our kids about that, explaining the expenses that there are and the money that there is to meet the expenses. Because Mm -hmm. Budgeting, talking about budgets with our kids is a great thing that we can do for them because it helps them to learn how to manage their spending and, mm -hmm. and that there, there actually is a finite uh, piece of money that you're wanting to spend on, on going back to school. Or, and or how are you choosing to spend that money. Yes. And then the last thing I think we want to mention is just the fact that, and I think most parents do it, we all do it, is do you know how much money I've spent on you? Right. Not that we all do it, but we don't want to f then bring the guilt back in when we're, yes. we are frustrated. So we buy in the moment because we think it'll make them happy or their year great or isn't this cute. And then our houses are cluttered or like, honestly, pencils and pens. <laughs> it's almost, okay, we're going to challenge you. Go around your home and collect pencils and pens. And mm. there's probably very few families that will need to buy pencils or pens. Which yes. The I'm guessing. I think you're right. But I might Maybe be wrong. our families are not indicative. <laughs> Something to consider. Yeah. 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 Just, just, it's helping kids know that they're responsible for their lives and their success. And we know they can do it. They're capable kids. So backpack isn't going to make their year go well. That is very, very helpful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we look forward to talking to you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.